Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Now, removing track day rubber, or just rubber deposits generally from your car. So, this car was taken around Castle Coombe uh, for a track day and brought back and washed very rapidly to get all the bugs off the front and all that sort of stuff. But what's left behind, why can't I see that scuff there? It's not scuff, rubber, sorry. What's left behind are these deposits of rubber all over the cars. Where do you tend to get them? On the front, on that lower bit there. Um, you get them behind the wheels where you get your own rubber flicking off your own tyres. You get them all, you get it all in there. You get it all along that lower seal, down the doors. Um, here where this bulges out. So that's where you tend to get it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'll use that shot for the thumbnail. <laughs> um, how do you get rid of it? Well, wash the car first, because you, you just get all of the dirt off the car by washing it. If you want to get them off during the wash process, then you can try using a citrus cleaner, like this one. I, you know, any citrus cleaner. See my best citrus clean video. I've got a ton of them to use, but they all should work. And when you're washing... You pre-wash off the car. You could pre-wash it with citrus as well. Um, or spray over the car first with some citrus cleaner. Then foam over the top. Whatever you want to do. Let it sit there. And then what you can find is you go over it with a really soft tip brush. A really good citrus might break some of the rubber down enough so that you can actually brush it off with a really soft brush. Which is the way to do it. Rather than try and pick it off or rubber it really hard with microfiber. Okay. So citrus is a good starting point. But I think I used the citrus on this, but I didn't go around agitating it because I didn't have enough time, so I pop, popped it in the garage. Really, the, the most foolproof way of getting it off is after you've washed the car, is get some AutoSmart TARDIS, which is a tar and glue remover. It's non-water-based, but it's got emulsifier in it, so you can rinse it off. So you can actually use that, use this during the wash phase, you know, wash the car and it, you know, quickly towel it over and then go over it with TARDIS. That TARDIS will sit on there and then you could rinse the TARDIS off or wipe the tar deposits off with a microfiber cloth. That will work as well. And that will be really effective, actually. The downside of doing that is if you do have fresh protection on your car, this TARDIS is going to punch it right down. It's very strong. I'm not too worried about that because I'll just spray over with a bit of spray wax to seal and shine once I've removed it or won't even bother. I'm not too worried about protection on this <laughs> as, as such, you know. So let me just show you how easy it is with when you're using the right product. So um, I'll just spritz a little bit of this on, just a misting of it. And it's sitting there already. And while it's sitting on top of that tar um, rubber, it's starting to break it down very rapidly. Um, just dissolve it really that's what it does and then the key thing is you can just go very gently with your microfiber cloth very gently and just like do that and it will just because it's melting it down you haven't got to like buff into it or get your nail under it and really kind of work it so it works this TARDIS product it's very strong just be careful with it if you've got any <laughs> wings that you've bought from eBay pre-painted with a rattle can or you know clear coat or something some mickey mouse acrylic clear coat and you put those this on and let it dry in the summer so if you heavily misuse a very strong solvent based product like this you can potentially come a cropper but you you won't if you're not if you know if you follow basic rules just don't let it dry on the on the surface um and that is really it um yeah just very useful product so literally to do it properly to do it all there that's covered in tar just miss that on miss that on miss look at it down there jesus that's going to be more stubborn i know it's going to be more stubborn all right i'll go and do that all along that under seal last and that's pretty much pretty much it <laughs> It's like a little stopwatch where it just let it tick away. If you buff it too soon, it won't have a chance to really break into that rubber and do its thing. 
but yeah. You know, outside, be careful, don't let it dry. And you just wipe it off gently. This is like a really soft, plush cloth. You use, as long as it's a clean microfiber towel, it ain't gonna matter too much. But this is not good for this cloth. Because it's gonna diff be difficult to wash out all that rubber. So this cloth, I'll just separate it. Ooh, we've got a nice little chip there. Lovely. Something's whacked up into that. And then off with that. There we go. And then off with all that. Well, that's really dried onto that PPF a little bit more. That's gonna just take a little bit more buffing, maybe going again. Comes off the paintwork easier, funny enough. Uh, that's gonna take that's gonna take a bit more scrubbing. It's really ground in, so yeah, it feels rough. So I'm gonna have to probably put a little bit more on, try and get it off again. And then maybe if there's anything left, get some clay bar out and clay off the remnants, but don't try and clay off a thick line of, um, of rubber. You let the chemical do the work. So that's really how I go about removing um, track rubber from my car and I think difficult at all really so there you go thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more detailing tips adios Duke.